All right, here we go. Uh, the, war on war the World and Warcraft uh, Q&A has begun. The World Warcraft Dope team uh, answers your questions about war, dungeons, raids, and more. Uh, so this is basically where people get to go out and uh, shout out their um, uh, shout out their guild. Uh, can we play Q&A Bingo? Q&A Bingo. Okay, let's see. Uh, we can do a new Q&A Bingo. Let's see. I I I'll pull that up. All right. Uh, let's see. Red shirt guy, that's a good one. Uh, red shirt guy. Phone reference. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, Volpira slash furry agenda. Uh, solo queue, that's a good one. Uh, let's see. Oh, PvP vendors, that's that's a good one too. All right, PvP vendors. Uh, pet battles, uh, pre-order question. That's a good one. Pre-order question. Uh, Titan forging. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll do Titan forging. Uh, Chris Metzen. Uh, well, he was he he asked a question last year, and I don't think that he he's gonna ask a question again this year. Oh, TBC. That's a good one. TBC. Oh, Master Loot. That's a good one. And one more. Uh, flying. Oh God. Let's let's make the last one flying. Yeah, let's let's do that 100%, guys. Flying. Uh new yeah, that, that that's good for now, okay? Boom, right there. First one. First fucking one right there. Uh let me see here. Uh from the red shirt guy, any changes to heritage armor acquisition? Boom, right there. Big dick, that's an X. That's an X right there. Okay, boys, we got one already. There we go. Red shirt guy, we crossed that one out. Okay, perfect. So, any changes to Heritage Armor? Let's see what, uh, what Blizzard comes up with there. Uh, still have to get to max level. Okay, well, that makes sense. Yeah, I still have to get to max level. Okay. Yeah, so you still have to get to max level for the Heritage Armor. Uh, okay, that's good. Uh, did we f did the Jailer and the Maw see the Legion as a threat, which is why Sylvanas worked with Varian? That's a good question. Uh, we'll find out more of her motivations in Shadowlands, and her relationship with the Jailer dates back a bit. Age of Night story involves this relationship. Working with Varian was a long-term strategy in order to get, uh, in order to get Warchief. Had to make allies, but now we're seeing the fruition of that. Met the Jailer. So the Jailer is the guy behind her? Is that confirmed? Uh, yeah, it is, the Jailer is the guy behind her. Is that confirmed, though? Because I thought it wasn't. I, I thought it was somebody separate. Yes, it was confirmed. Okay, we'll see, all right? How do you choose between Aesthetic Covenant as opposed to min-maxing the best covenant, especially for PvP? That's a big question that I had, too. Lots of things can be tuned. We took the, uh, we took the outlook of choosing a covenant is like choosing a class. Lots of visibility, but the choice has to matter. The active abilities is one thing, but the soul binds, etc. count. This should be taken into a whole, but there also should be lots of tuning knobs. We will not hesitate to disable things in PvP. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds fine to me. I mean, like, yeah, okay. That's good. War mode in Shadowlands. Yes. I mean, what did you expect they were going to say? Like, no, Shadowlands is a... Everybody's friends now. You can't do any more any more war modes, all right? Just stop with that war mode shit. Next. Flying, dude, there it is, right there. Uh, same way it's gonna work. All right, all right, dude, just one second. Let's pull it up. Let's pull it up right here. Flying. Okay. Boom. We are five minutes in, and we've already got two knocked out. Uh, how's flying gonna work in a shadow end? So let me pull this, uh, get this closed in. Okay, uh, same way it's worked for the last few expansions. This is a compromise. It's a contentious issue. Explore from the ground to begin with, and then fly in later patches. Okay, so they're basically going to do the same thing again. The Pathfinder. I, as I said, I think Pathfinder is fine. I know some people are like, I hate Pathfinder, it's stupid. But I actually think Pathfinder is generally okay. Uh, is it the greatest solution that Blizzard has ever had? No. But it's okay. Uh, I, I'm fine with it being okay. And sometimes that's good enough. How will flying work with the level squish? 
Uh, let's see. Was that in the? Uh, was that in our Q and A? Let's see. Mass Looter, PP vendors, Volpira agenda, pre-order soul Q. Okay, so that's not even it yet. Okay, in WoW Classic, will we receive a toggle for HD remodels? We made uh, we made those to match the world as we know it. The characters got left behind a bit. Bro, like, if you want an HD remodel, just fucking, just play BFA, man. Like, oh, no, man. Just, just no. Like, if you want classic, play classic. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, why does it have to always be something different, man? Will legendaries ever be transmogable? Oh, man. Like, no, dude. I don't want to see everybody running around with Thunder Fury. Oh, come on. I, I, no, dude. I, 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 I just, this is, no, no. Come on, man. Fuck ass. Uh, will legendaries ever be trying Short answer is yes. Original rules were very restrictive. Back then, the legendaries were the coolest weapons in the game, and we didn't want everyone walking around with Thunder Fury. Coming soon. Illidan's Warglaves I thought were okay because there were very few Warglaves in the game to begin with, so I was like, ah, you know what, let's give him a bone. But if we're talking about other shit on top of that, no, man. What is the creative process whenever you choose, uh, whenever you choose an expan uh, expansion theme? What did you do for Shadowlands? Uh, they probably had a dartboard and a blindfold. Uh, that's why I'd kind of assume, but, uh, you know. Uh, brainstorming a new expansion happens two expansions ahead. Allows for story plot, uh, plot point making. Typically, this happens with a large group and weekly sessions where we think of cool things to uh, throw cool things to throw away others. It's a mix of things. We generally think about the world. Uh, the world is the main character that you explore and fill with your own story. The first question is, what do we do, what do we want to go next? Okay. Okay. First question: Where we're gonna? The story sometimes has a twist. The story sometimes has to twist and turn to get there, i.e. wad. Then you can add features that make sense alongside that world. Sometimes we pull that off. Uh, we could have done Legion after Mists, but they put it off for one expansion. Uh, we gather a lot of reference. Yeah, and they should have done Legion after Mists. They, they should have. Like, if they never did... Yeah, level 1 Ragnaros, exactly. If they never did wad, that would have been great. Yeah, if only they could do that, that would be amazing. Wait, free Hong Kong? No way, dude. Th did they do it? Did they do it? Oh, oh, yes, dude. All right, we've got a big old X over that. All right, Hong Kongo has been got. Uh, kid got tackled off stage. Hey, right. it's the way it goes. Okay. Uh, t uh, nice and random. Yeah. Wow. Taliesin, wait, Taliesin went to him? <laughs> Is this a, a grand conspiracy? Uh, you got something to say, mate? Oh, jeez. Okay, let's see what else I've got. How'd they just have Taliesin just fucking walk up there and do that? I, 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 like, why didn't they tell him, like, listen, if somebody runs up to the mic, just pull it away from him. Okay, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, ever named the expansion before you developed it? No, we use an internal name. Exception was Legion. Oh yeah, we'll do the Legion expansion. That one stuck? Yeah, I, I guess so. It's pretty it's pretty self-evident, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, identity of the mysterious jailer. Is he someone that we know or connected to death like Argus or Hell yeah? This is a really good question. Intended to be a mysterious new figure. Not someone we've met before, but an important part of the cosmology of the Warcraft universe. Applying what we know about the universe to a new place. Okay. That's a good question. That that actually that's uh, actually a good question. Great. So an unknown void ward. Well, we don't know if it's a void ward or anything like that. Uh I, I think that obviously it's not Vizula. Like you got Mazula confirmed? Well, no. How how could it be Mazula if he's a mysterious new figure? I mean, okay. Oh, here it is. What will become of the rank four essences we've acquired in 9.0? We're going to try something different, i.e. not deplete it. As you move to the Shadowlands, your connection to the heart will be depleted. It will be functional in other areas.
What? We're going to try something different, not deplete it. But as you move to the Shadowlands, your connection to the heart will be depleted. Not depleted. Depleted. Not deplete. Depleted. Yeah, of course. Okay, oh, two more. What are some of the customization things we, we will be looking forward to with our WoW characters? Working right now on Blood Elves. More than 40 additional, additional customizations for them coming. Showed some race customizations already. Just a small sampling we're going to offer. Specifically with humans, we really want to offer a diversity that you can find in the real world so that you can really be in the game. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that, that's great. I mean, as I said, some people are angry about that because they're putting black people in the game. Uh, to me... I, I, I really don't think that's bad. I, I, I think that's completely fucking fine. It, it's not a big deal to me at all. I, I think I think it's fine, okay? It, it doesn't break the game or anything like that. They've always been there. Yeah, but they're adding like people that have like ethnic, uh, like ethnic black features, right? Not just people with black skin. And, and so obviously they're trying to make them look like, trying to make them look like black people in real life, you know, rather than just having dark skin. And I think that's fine. Uh, if they want to let people do that, it's not a big deal. Wow soundtrack. Can we get the music from the patches released? It's not on the soundtrack. Have you considered releasing additional digital tracks? Yes, we're working on it. We're going to do this before Shadowlands for BFA. We just need to figure out the best way to do it. So they're going to introduce more soundtracks for the game. Uh, that's cool, I guess. I mean, it's not really something I'm like super excited about, right? It's like, okay, cool, I guess. Okay, next. Who won in Stromgard and Darkshore Warfronts lore-wise? Canonically, the Alliance wins in both. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty true. Yeah, it's pretty true. That is true. Yeah, it is pretty true. That's true. The Jailer's name is Tyrion- wait, what is this here? Is Tyrion his Minethil's helm? No, it doesn't have his helm, man. Uh, our Warchief 1v1 the Lich King? What do you mean, you're a Warchief? <laughs> what, what, what do you mean, you're a Warchief? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so, bro. Wait, TBC question? Oh, shit. Okay, just a second. With the faction war settling down, would you consider loosening faction restrictions on grouping with friends? No. I understand that you want to play with the opposite faction. It would be easier for you, but mechanically, it's a pillar of what makes Warcraft Warcraft. That division has value. Although we do want to look for ways for you to play with lots of people, formal cross-faction play is not in the cards. Thank fuck. Like, I was so worried about this happening. Uh, thank God that's not going to be the case. No, not a chance. Eye of Nazoth, what's the scoop? Be yourself and see what follows. We have Classic, will we get a BC or Wrath server? Hey. Hey. There it is right there, we got a TBC. Got a TBC question right fucking there. Alright, let's see what Blizzard says. Uh, we, uh, let's see. It's possible, but we have to be really careful with how to proceed. We did not... Have changes in mind whenever we put Classic out. Need to be super thoughtful. Not everyone playing Classic wants to play BC. We want to do the right thing. We're not opposed to it. Okay. Wow, alright. Uh, there we go. Uh, after the Magar Orc scenario, what happened to that alternate Drain Orc? <laughs> what do you mean, bro? Like, what do you mean about the, what 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 alternate drain or bro? Like, what do you mean, dude? Yeah, who who gives a fuck, man? All right, let's see. What are they gonna say about that? TBC is better than classic. I think that TBC in a lot of ways is better than classic. But if I had to choose to play one game forever, it would be classic. Uh, that drain aura is still out there. The light still has a presence on it. Those things we keep in the back pocket. And if something really fits, that's something that we can grab, uh, we can grab to look under a new set of circumstances. Right now, it's life and death, but light and void are a very interesting option to explore. This is just the first step on exploring the cosmology. Uh. Okay, WAD 2.0.
I mean, what they're really saying is nothing's ever going to happen with it, though. Like, I, mean, I feel like it's very clear that Blizzard has no intention of ever following through with the story and what. Uh, there's just, like, nothing that's ever going to happen with it, and it's just basically dead. That's it. We're done. Okay, let's see here. Um, Chronicle is written from a specific point of view, the Titans, but it is canon. Uh, but it is canon. The more stuff did happen behind the scenes, though, and you'll find some of that explained in the Shadowlands. So the Titans is written from, sorry, Chronicle is written from the point of view of the Titans. Okay. Alrighty, I, I think that does make things a little bit more complicated. Uh, it makes things actually a lot more complicated. Yeah, all right. Uh, we can go with that. Uh, what happens if you die in the Shadowlands? Uh, you die in real life. That's what happens. Uh, it's very different than whenever you die in Azeroth, i.e. the corpse run. In the Shadowlands, it's different. Your spirit is not traveling back to you. We've created a different experience and screen effect, a different paradigm. The narrative behind it is the Kyrians are the spirit healers on Azeroth who decide if a soul is ready to cross over to the Shadowlands. Our connection to Azeroth is always tethering us. In Shadowlands, Azeroth still needs us. Aesthetic is different, but the story is still the same. We still corpse run. Okay, so you're, re you're resurrected by a Valkyr. Alright. Did we get a bingo here? Uh, I don't know. The more in the tower, how much of your gameplay will be taken up by the tower at max level? This is a really good question. It's actively designed for all players, solo or group, but the time will vary between players. A range. Perhaps we'll have leaderboards. Can you win the tower? Not sure. Still deciding. It's an open-ended system. We want to make sure, no matter how good you are, there's always something to test yourself against. Like, so the tower, you're ascending the tower to, like, get to the jailer. So if you end, and then you finally go to the last stage, but you have to, like, trigger it somehow, and you face off against the jailer, and he just kills you in, like, one hit. And that's basically how the how the tower would end. But I don't know how that would make sense. The tower is an esport? Yeah, I don't know. The tower is not a raid? Yeah, I don't know. I just feel... Yeah, that's actually good. Yeah, I think that would be awesome. Infinite levels. Maybe the jailer is the last patch of the expansion. I, I feel like he obviously is. Yeah, he, he's very, very obviously the last, the last thing they've mentioned. Okay, tier sets. Wide range of epic armor sets. That's a bingo! Boom! There it is, boys! There it is, boys! We got him. Now, let's see if we can go for a blackout. Uh, it's absolutely possible. Uh, we'll see how this is gonna go. Uh, or maybe a double bingo. And that's a four, too, not even a three. Yeah, we're popping off right here. Holy shit, we got a fucking bingo. There we go. A wide range of epic armor sets. Why not just say, yeah? Like, that's the thing. It's like, why not just be like, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be tier sets. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do tier sets. Uh, that, that's what it's gonna be. 3 by 4 bingo? Who gives a fuck, dude? Like, I, I mean, listen, it doesn't matter. Chatterin throw comes back. Refresh your uh, page. More answers. Okay, I'll refresh again. Uh, oh, right. Okay. Oh, oh, more answer. Okay, um, will Mechanomes be wearing armor leglessly? Can their playable races be more or less two legs? Maybe. We're, we like experimenting. Oh, you like experimenting. Okay. Uh, new tech for Mechanomes can be experimented with. Uh, wide range of epic armor sets. Class-themed armor will return at some point, but it won't come back in the initial patch of Shadowlands. Sets were originally a long-term goal. Over the course of WoW, it was pretty easy to get your tier set. After that, the set feels like a prison. So you're like the Lich King. Um, you never swapped out of it. Bonuses are definitely exciting, but not necessarily with a tier set. Uh, no, it didn't. No, I, I feel like what he's saying is true. Uh, yeah, I never felt like a person. No, really? I mean, I, I feel like it did. Like, imagine playing a hunter back in, uh, in Legion. You had, like, you had all six sets because you had, you did two piece and four piece, right? So those are six pieces of gear that were always locked down. Uh, okay, let's see. Bonuses are signed up. Not necessarily. Legendaries will be very satisfying in terms of player power. Uh, sets in other forms, i.e. two and three piece sets, will continue. A two or a three piece tier set. Hmm. Uh, no one asked about Titan forging. By the way, most of the dumb questions were asked by the host. 
Tyson, I, listen, like, I know that, like, you guys might not like him or whatever, but we don't need to shit on other people, man. It's not a big deal. It, it, this is all, that's all the questions. The, the, these are all the questions. I want to make sure before I go and we look at the, uh, the Hong Kong clip, okay? Uh, I, I, I want to see the Hong Kong clip. Okay. Just give me one second here. Might be TOS because it's still a private stream. Okay, well then show it to me. I'm going to watch it right now. I'll just mute, I'll just mute the audio. What the fuck, man? They, there was like probably like this kid. I'm surprised. Like, honestly, I'm surprised the kid even did that. Well, the best part about it is like, like Taliesin goes out of his way to, to fight. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, well, I'm asking somebody a question. Just a minute. Let me go get the, put the mic next to a, a random 12 year old and, and see what he has to say. Yeah. Okay. What, what? What about this little Zoom? What do you think about... What, what do you have to say, little Zoom? It's like, what the fuck? Forced by parents? I don't know about that. It's a little bit much. But, uh, yeah. I would have never... I would have never fucking done that, dude. No, it was actually a little Zoom. It was a little Zoom, man.